There's still obviously room for improvement and Lagos is a city that continues to grow daily. Uh, what would you like to see, what kind of investment, what kind of funding would you like to see to improve the waste management situation? Okay, uh, at this stage, although we have improved, but we are still, we are still not there. We are still expecting to achieve, attain that best practice in waste management. We want uh, to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions, the more we want to we want to actually enhance our carbon footprint. So we are looking into uh, waste to energy projects. That's that an area that we are really focusing on now to be able to convert uh, our, our waste to bio, to biogas. And uh, in doing that, we have actually taken steps, although we still want investors. We want to partner with the public sector. We want to partner with international organizations, not only for funding. We also need technical assistance. But right now, we're already partnering with uh, the, the United States Environmental Protection Agency, who recently gave um, LOMA a grant of $80,000 to conduct uh, a feasibility assessment of uh, LFG gas opportunities at two landfill ga gas in Lagos. We are also partnering with the Clinton Climate Initiative. They are our, our technical partners. We have other partners, UNEP, uh, UNEP uh, through UNEP, uh, we are funding also from ACAD. ACAD is the African uh, Carbon uh, Asset Fund. We, are, we also have a grant from them to show that we, 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 are, we have been able to stabilize uh, through our integrity to secure funding, but we still want more. And our major area, our focus now is uh, waste to energy to be able to convert our waste to, to energy. We are also looking at um, investment in the area of infrastructure in waste management. We are into um, constructing transfer, transfer loading stations. Now in Lagos, we have uh, two transfer loading stations fully funded by, by government through government funding. You agree with me that the transfer loading stations will actually reduce uh, the number of uh, uh, vehicles on our road vehicular movement for vehicles transporting uh, uh, waste to the landfill sites because they are the first dump at the transfer loading station before they are moved by trailers in the night to the, 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 their final resting place, the, the, uh, the, the sites. But for now, we will want, Lagos needs about 20 of such transfer loading stations. And at the moment it has two? We have two. Okay. So we are looking at investors to come in and partner with Lagos for the development of 18 additional transfer loading stations. I mean, given how much waste Lagos produces, I mean, what, what, are the ben what could be the benefits for, for energy? So you want to convert that waste into energy. Where would that be used? I mean, how much energy could you produce given oh. the amount of waste you have? Okay, oh, the, the, we have so, the, the, the volume we have at different landfill sites is huge. You see, we already have people that have shown interest, partners from uh, all over, all over the world actually that have shown interest. And uh, some have mentioned that we can produce as much as um, 750,000 megawatts, depending on, we have different landfill sites, not just one landfill site in Lagos. Uh, presently we have about three or four that are closed, that are really ready to, to, to be used for, for conversion of uh, waste into energy and the energy that will be produced can actually be used by industries and it can be used by the uh, uh, people living in the environment where we have these landfill sites there's a market for it uh, and what, what are your reasons for being here in Durban? I mean, presumably there are other cities of a similar size, I think of Mexico City, Sao Paulo maybe, which share similar problems and are looking for similar solutions. Is that the case? Have you been talking to other, other major cities? Um, the major the reason uh, we are here in Durban is that we believe we are relevant to what is going on in Durban right now. We are relevant, we have partners here and we want to lend our voice. We want to know what is actually happening, what's, what's going to happen uh, post-2012. So that because we, are, we have uh, projects that we, are pre we want to register right now. We have two projects. Uh, one we are, we are about registering for CDM. And we have one that was actually we've negotiated, was registered, but we have some challenges with funding and all that. So, and we've not been able to actually move forward on it. So what happens post 2012, what will happen to that project? We actually signed with the World Bank uh, concerning that project. So we want to know what actually would happen post 2012. Do we go on? Can we roll over? And all that. So that's why we, have, we want, to, want to blend.